Look at him. Turkeys, people. Them's turkeys. Wow, you see where I'm at? They're that close to the road. Well, hey, everybody. I'm at the Mooney Farm. And uh, this was some tall thrash grass that had grown. And they let it grow. And... They turned the cows loose on it, and uh, the bulk of the cows are behind here eating now. But you can see within, because I was here yesterday, and they weren't over here in this area. This is how bad it's got for trying to feed these cows. And uh, I talked to the people, the husband and wife team, and then, um, they didn't want to go on camera right now, but they said that they were hurting real bad that usually they don't feed them hay until January. And now um, they're having to feed them hay. They're having to put them in these feed lots that they have growing. And as you can see, um, it don't take long for them to eat that down. So long story short, if you got extra hay and you wanna adopt a beautiful milk cow, uh, call the Moonies and and tell them that you'll sell them your hay because they're having to find hay way off and having to pay high prices and i know there's a lot of people between here and harrison uh north of springfield got a lot of rain and down around uh the arkansas border got a lot of rain there's a lot of hay out there but if you want to help uh some milk cows out and sell you sell your hay to somebody that really needs it here locally in the ozarks uh, give the Moonies a call. Here's another view of them. Normally they are not that loud. I'm not sure why they're that loud, but they're not. Maybe they're enjoying the, what they're eating. I think they've got different groups, you know, separated. Little bulls and little, little helpers separated. But as you can see, they're going to take all this down probably within the day. This is the name Mooney, Randy and Jan. I don't have their phone number, but I'm pretty sure we can look it up on the internet and I can put it in the description. Yeah, the young fella said that one of the reasons they're mooing and, and booing is because they're having to eat it and they're not happy with it. It's their last choice <laughs> feed. He said he's got four more feedlots like that, and then they're going to be gone. Well, I wish you'd look at this Polaris. It's the guy said it's the weenie dog version. <laughs> it's the long wheelbase for sure. Look at that beefed up suspension. It's got a big engine. How many cc is that? 1,000. 1,000. That's why they got 1,000 wrote on the back of it. <laughs> or I should say 1,000 wrote right on the front. <laughs> you drive this thing? 
smaller one like it? Well, I can tell you've used it. Yeah. Got a few little dings and dings on it. Yeah, not worried about the paint getting marred. <laughs> it's about fun. Yep. Cool. You got a pond? Right here behind the building. Here. Okay. It's kind of drying up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't see it from here. Can you? Can you? Is that right over here? Yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah, you can't see it from the road. You didn't I wouldn't have known it was here. Hey, look at the see little baby sticking up all the way around the palm bank. Yeah. The little baby frog. Little baby frog. <laughs> I, a big one. A big one right there. <laughs> hey, them things are good to eat. We eat them in Mississippi. Oh, yeah. We raise catfish in Mississippi. I, I love frog. So the lack of rain is hurting your pond. You poor cat. I bet he eats uh eat that. Uh, a frog in every now and then. Yeah, I'm looking at this one right here kind of close to us up close. Yeah. <laughs> so you need rain, everybody needs rain. Do you try to catch these frogs? I don't, I'm used to frogs. My foot doesn't fall on the cooking for them. I love, I go out and eat. I love going frog legs. Yeah, they out. have them at uh, the store. Uh, Murphy's. Yeah, Bamber's oh. got them too. Yeah. Well, you go up to Chinese place there on the Glenstone, the battlefield, they've got them on Friday night, Saturday night. They have those legs. Yeah, that one ain't scared of nothing. Nah. <laughs> He's just too. hanging out. He's watching his little babies. There's, big in there. There's another big one way on down there. There's another pin down there. Being sick of the head, just down there. Another. Yeah, this one hears us talking and everything, and he ain't going down. He's Kermit. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> yeah, Mississippi, we were in the Delta, we were the catfish capital of the world. And uh, man, I tell you what, our politicians sold us down a road of Vietnamese catfish. Started buying that for everything. Uh, I told the senator, his name Benny Benny Thompson, when he's been he was in there for almost 18 years. I think he's still in there. But um when I first knew he got elected, I met him and I said, uh our catfish industry could be the biggest in the world. You know, you you gonna like make sure the military gets to eat our catfish twice a week? Oh yeah, buddy, yeah. I'm behind the catfish people. And they going bankrupt. Having it. You know, and I watch that, and I think it's Mississippi's got a lot of that uh, crawdad farm too, don't they? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they converted them over to the crawfish and trying to make a living doing anything they can. But uh, a lot of them's been turned turned back over to nature and um, feeding cows on top of it, you know. But this pond is is like it never drains. It's never been that low. Never been this low. Wow. Forty five years. Been that low. In forty five years, it hadn't been that low. Well, that's kind of got to be sad because when it rains, it gets way up here, yeah, don't it? it? Mm-hmm. Well, it's amazing that it, it it stays full. It's not going to be much more longer than it. Hey, I'm running blue herring off of it out of there this morning. Yeah. I'm getting in there. There's a bunch of baby bluegill in there. You see the little ring sticking up? Uh -huh. Popping up? That's a little baby bluegill. Okay. That's a little catfish. I usually feed the catfish in the night. When you get them uh, geese coming over here and popping down in it. I used to. <laughs> But they're, they're not as much as they was anymore either. Yeah. Well, you sure got a beautiful place. I know y'all spend a lot of time right there on yeah, that porch. Right <laughs> we do a lot of cooking and a lot of visiting out there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for showing me that pond in your place. And and that beautiful motorcycle. <laughs> trike. That's, that's, and, and people be leaving comments. Buddy, that ain't a motorcycle. That is a trike.
Yeah, that's a classic. Now, you don't see very many around here. No, you know, like that. I see them on YouTube, you know, you'll see them on that, or they got a few of them on it like that one. Yeah, I've, I've seen a few on YouTube, and uh, I put this one on YouTube last time. I'm going to put it on there. I watched it on there. Yeah, I'm going to put it on there again. Made me kind of look like an old hillbilly. <laughs> or, or we're going to both sound like that, too. I think, I think we are from the hills now. <laughs> I've been here in Missouri a long time. Almost, yeah, uh, going on a couple years. <laughs> I came with the southern accent. <laughs> So where y'all coming from? Uh, no way. Man, that's a good looking bike. How new is it? Uh, 10 or 15 years, pretty old. Okay, you know, mine is too. Mine's a 2012. Yeah, it just got a classic look. Hey. Uh, so how many miles y'all going? Uh, 40. 40. Yeah. 40. I'm going to be close to 50. The dang wind is blowing. Y'all felt it then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it felt like it's really helping, though. Yeah, it's always been. Yeah. Yeah. It's no matter which one. No matter. It's almost dropping. Like I said, it's entitled to ride with wind in all directions. That's how it feels like. Yeah. It's swirling. It's doing all kinds of things. And the gust is real high. Wow. All original. That's original paint. Well done. I have everything from when the car was bought. Every oil change. All the good paper. Wow. For sale. Okay, what do you want for it? I was going to ask 45 or best offer for it. All right, 45 or best offer. How can people find you? 417-247-8032. Name right. is Tim. All right, you can call Tim at that number. I'll put the number in the description and you'll have a Plymouth value. 1963? 63. Anything uh, special about it? It's a co Of course, it's a convertible <laughs> two-door. My claim to fame on the car is that Tom Wilkinson was Elvis Presley's guitar player. His dad bought this car for Andy. Okay. So Elvis, Elvis Presley's is... guitar player rode in this car as okay. a kid. Okay. So Elvis seen this car. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Elvis may have done this. Put his hand on it like he would. <laughs> All right. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, I, I do. I, I'm a YouTuber. So when you're a YouTuber, content is king. I'm always looking for content. Like that old car out there. <laughs> That's content. Hey guys, man, I like them shoes and them socks. Look at that. Y'all are color coordinated. I want to get hit by some guy. Yeah, I want to be seen. Man, I like them shorts. I got a shirt. I got. I got to get me some. Yeah. Is that a newer shirt or is that? No, this is one of the old ones. Uh, okay. They're all different. He's got one on that's a few years ago. Yeah. What would be fun is to that was, collect. That, that was the. That was the original. Yeah. That was the original shirt. And then they changed that. Uh, it was so poor at first. Yeah. Let's see here. We got a hundred dollars trying to ride it. Who made your? Uh, this one is. A different color. Yeah. No, it's. Uh, this is hempy. Yeah. I think this is a Dewar. I realized that was the same for miles I gotta order me. Next time he opens his store, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna get some gear. <laughs> Are you still recording, man? Yeah, man. I, I'm a YouTuber. I know. I'm recording I, everything. Yeah, he, yeah. he asked me about, uh, he said, you post a lot, don't you? I said, yeah, man, I'm a YouTuber. Content is king. Yeah, we're on our way. We're going to ride the Texas today. Texas? 
okay. Texas. We're gonna try to get there by nightfall. You can do it, you can do it. You just need the wind and not be blowing from the south. That's what mama said. Still is probably.